Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, like the song was saying, Monday, Mondays. Why do so many people dread Mondays? And can you actually learn to love them? Well, this author that is joining me this morning, Anna Weber, has written a book titled I Love Mondays. And I love the title of this <laughs> Thank because, you, so much. you know, here it is a Monday morning. It's it's dreary outside. It's cold outside. Start of the work week. And yet people really have a bad attitude about Mondays. Why do we dread them so much? Well, it's the first day of the week of responsibilities, you know. It's not the weekend mode, the free mode, liberty. It's actually responsibilities and chores and everything is in full force that we have to do for the, for the entire week. So it's, you know, it's the introduction of the first day of the week. Even my kids. Everybody knows I have triplets they are in fifth grade. Oh, like, my oh that first day back to school, that Monday, I mean, they're just dragging. I mean, it just, it's, it's interesting. True. It's not just the work week, but it really trickles down. Yes, it's the mindset. It's switching from the carefree to responsibilities. And I tell people the first day of the week is the first impression. You can't give a second time a good first impression. So Monday is actually a very important day of the week. Well, and from a business standpoint, before we talk about the mindset, how many deals are actually cut on a Monday versus the, the other days? of the week. Actually as far people as avoid them, believe it or not. I've really? been a CFO building companies from ground up for over twenty five years. People actually avoid to close deals on Mondays, go on dates on Mondays. There's so many things that people say, I'd rather not do it on a Monday. It's not gonna be a good one. But but again, like you said, it's the mindset. But I would think that the CFOs and the CEOs would think, okay, well we're gonna close this deal on Monday so then the rest of the week we have to kind of do the follow-up but that's really not the case no, at all. There's a lot of hesitations with Mondays actually because they don't know they don't control the other person's attitude and mood and actually they're looking at things obstacles and challenges in a negative fashion instead of a positive fashion so that's why they rather not do it. <laughs> so okay so how can we turn the dreading the Mondays like you said turn, changing our mindset into loving Mondays. Well, you need to embrace, first of all, the first day of the week. It's amazing what happens when you do so. It's affecting your feelings, it's affecting your actions, your accomplishments, everything is affected by doing so. Okay. So I tell people, prepare for Monday. There are certain tips that I give people. And then again, not only that they feel good, they, when they see the accomplishments, they feel much more successful. And again, it's like a domino effect. You talked about tips and embracing Mondays. Give us some tips and how can we embrace this to change the mindset here? <laughs> These are actually such a simple tips. First of all, it's great to prepare your clothes for the very first event of that coming Monday. Prepare them in advance. Is it a golf game? Is it going to a meeting? Going to the gym? Whatever that is, prepare that the night before. It's such a wonderful feeling. It's ready for me. I don't need to spend extra time on it. Okay. So again, it's teaching you how to be passionate about Monday, but also proportion your time and also what is your priority for the week. Okay. So that's number one. Okay, and also, so laying your clothes out or whatever yes, you're going to wear. Okay. Whatever it, it is for the first event for the day. Okay. I do that. Go ahead. Okay, great. The second thing is put your favorite clothes on. You know, I have my pink shoes for the gym or for running. I've got that, you know, beautiful white shirt for the office. Whatever that is, put your favorite one. Because again, from the outside in, you kind of build yourself to the momentum. So if you feel good, then that's going to come off exactly. in a positive way. So it's from outside in and from inside out. And okay. the most important thing is that introduce happy thoughts. Think about happy things, your next vacation, your child bringing home an A, your husband surprising you with flowers. Think of those great moments in your life, and that changes you from inside out. So here you're doing outside in and inside out. Happy thoughts. Yes. That's, you know, that's so important because, again, with the Monday and you're just, you're dreading it, you're sluggish, there is a bad attitude. Yes. And I really wonder how long it takes everybody to kind of, once they get into the office and they get that cup of coffee, to really get into work mode. I'm sure probably half the day is gone until they're like, okay, now I'm ready to step up and make it happen. Yes, that's the reason I introduced Happy Monday, Love Mondays, the program 20 years ago in a corporation when I realized that the swing shift, shift and the night shift suffered from the morning shift, that things were not done to quality, things had to be returned, certain products, and we really suffered financially and there was, you know, there was no motivation in the company, so it really affected. And once we introduced this program, people got quarterly bonuses, they got their work, they got their birthdays off with pay, and of course you made more money. So in the interim, it affected you all the way around. 
the whole big picture the of whole everything. Big picture. Inside out, outside, outside in. in. Okay, now I have to ask you, where can we find this book? You can find it on my website, www.moneyflowmastery.com. And you can also call the toll-free number, 888-416-1088. And, you know, here you are, you're, you're in the business world, but you're also an author. You immigrated from Romania Correct. in 1974. Correct, as a student. What was that like coming over here to the United States? Oh, it States? was huge. Yeah. It's that big dreams. I immigrated to New York, and I look at these skyscrapers, and I said, everything is possible here. You follow your vision, your dreams, and you say, no matter how many obstacles and challenges you're going to go through, you're going to make it. Oh, Anna, it took a long time, but I did. Oh, and you're extremely <laughs> successful. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, the name of the book is I Love Mondays, and Anna Weber has written it. And you know what? Change your mindset, turn it around, and it'll all be good. We'll be right back after this.